So this is called a five, oh, where's the camera? This is called a five axis work stop. I have finished my first semester in machinist school. I finished lathe one and mill one. And I am really excited. I'm excited to show you my final project. This guy right here, look how pretty. I made every single piece on this. You see it has a T nut that you can fit into a table on a mill or a CNC machine or uh, wherever you might have a T-slot. Not terribly useful to me right now, but maybe in the future it will. I think I'm more excited about the fact that, you know, it just looks like a thing and it's multiple parts that I made. I'm pretty pleased with it. So I shot video of the whole thing, the whole process, so uh, check it out. I start by chucking up some stainless steel into the lathe. I used a dial indicator to make sure the piece was running true in the chuck. After some adjustments, I got it perfect. So satisfying. Next, I use a turning tool to turn the first piece down to dimension. Stainless steel is notorious for making stringy chips. I really don't love working with stainless. I used a parting tool to clean up the face and part the piece off to the proper dimension. The cylinder pieces received a hole drilled through and one of them was tapped. Next I start on the most complicated pieces. I'm using a fly cutter to square up the faces of the rough aluminum. Look at that finish. Oh, so satisfying. Here I'm using an end mill to start giving the two aluminum pieces some of their rough shape. This project called for using a rotary table to cut some curves. That required removing the vise. And there's the rotary table. This thing is heavy. Milling curves on a rotary table is simply a matter of rotating the piece offset from the center, but it sure seems like magic.
Just a few more pieces to go. I used a slot cutter for the first time on this project. And here I'm using a boring head to cut an internal radius. Look at those chips fly. Now this took about two weeks of class time, and I'm talking like four days a week, all day in the machine shop. And uh, that was, uh, it was definitely a, a journey and experience. As I was making probably the most difficult piece, which is these, you know, two um, aluminum uh, pieces with the round part, it was taking me several days to do. And to get these really nice curves, really precise and beautiful, it took a lot of effort. Um, and as I was making it, my instructor came up and he said, if you had to make this in a CNC machine, it would take you about five minutes. It was at that point that I decided, I think I'm going to keep going into CNC machining because this, uh, as much fun as it was to learn how to do all this manually, uh, being able to have a computer spit it out in five minutes would have been uh, a lot nicer, <laughs> but I'm glad I got the experience. I'm super proud of how just how this turned out. It's just, it's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> Changing things up to go into machinist school, into a trade school to learn how to work with my hands, a new skill has just, it's been really rewarding. It's been frustrating. Um, uh, having gotten to a place in my career uh, before this, where I was, you know, really good. I was well paid. I was, you know, working for a world class company. Um, it was a, it, it's a lot to go back to the drawing board and have to say, uh, I'm gonna start learning something I don't know how to do. I was, I, I it, it's frustrating sometimes to to be like, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I made a hundred mistakes. I have to keep reminding myself I've only been doing this for three or four months. So this is, um, it's just a new thing. It's, you know, at, at my age, I'm, I'm, I, I was enjoying being good at something and now I'm just like, I'm not as good as I'd like to be. This was not easy. I made a lot of mistakes. I needed a lot of help to do this. And uh, yeah, it's not all roses and rainbows. It's, uh, it's a lot of frustration, a lot of um, uh, wanting to take the part and throw it, a lot of uh, ruined parts and having to start over. So anyway, uh, I, I'm excited to continue my journey into machining and learning to work with my hands. And uh, you know, I'll uh, keep making these videos to kind of show you what it's like. Um, I hope that whoever's watching this uh, has just a better understanding of what machining is. And maybe if you know if you're considering going to college, uh, maybe think about trade school because. Um, you know, I kind of wish I had explored that back in the day. I just never even gave it a second thought, never thought that that was even a thing that I could even do. So, um, you know, super glad I went to film school and, and the career I've had, but uh, I'm really excited about the second journey. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one. Kind of looks like the Iron Man's, you know, little multi-axis arm thingy. Although his was a robot and mine isn't. <laughs> Thanks for watching.